see more and more countries getting closer to the border with Russia. And his foreign secretary has raised this in the past. Um, he said America didn't like Soviet missiles in Cuba back in 62. We don't want, you know, NATO missiles 250 miles away from Moscow on the eastern border of Ukraine if Ukraine becomes a NATO member. Um, you know, he says, we don't like that. We don't want, let's talk about it. Nobody in Washington wants to talk about that. Well. Uh, then apparently they will continue to talk uh, about uh, what's going on in Ukraine uh, with Putin and others and get this thing straightened out, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Tom, thank, thank, you for your, uh, thank you for your insight. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, coming up, we're going to be talking about Super Bowl 56. It is uh, shaping up to be the most heavily bet game ever. Uh, surveyed by the American Gaming Association. Says more than seven and a half billion dollars is expected to be put on the line by Sunday. And uh, when we come back, we'll talk with Las Vegas Review sports betting columnist Ted Dewey about what's driving the 78% betting increase over last year's game. Right now, though, we're going to take a look at your drive from the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center. Let's go places. Let's see what's happening on the 210 in Glendora. Now that fatality crash still working, 210 westbound before the 57. That crash blocks the two right lanes. Traffic jam from Fruit Street. You can use the 10 as an alternate. Paramount, earlier crash cleared, 710 uh, southbound, rather, at Rosecrant, everything out of lanes. You got a crash in Anaheim still working, 91 westbound before the 55. Two cars involved, it's off of the shoulder. And someone lost the table in lanes. Corona, 15 northbound after Wyrick. Looks like that table is in the fast track lanes. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. Hey all, it's Dean Sharp. Are you looking to sell your home in 2022? Well, congratulations. That is a big deal. For most of us, it's the biggest deal of all. So let's make sure you get everything out of it that you can, yeah? Before you get ready to list, make sure you call the good folks at Revive. Revive's business is to maximize your home's sale value. How? By guiding you through market-critical upgrades before you sell. It's like flipping your own home, except Revive fronts the cost and guarantees results. Yeah, you heard that right. No money out of pocket and a higher selling price guaranteed. You can list higher and sell faster in just a few short weeks. In fact, the average homeowner sees 160 k in additional profit. This is a no-brainer. Revive has created an easy, stress-free way to maximize your greatest asset, your home. So, are you thinking about selling? Then before you do anything, chat with an advisor at Revive. To get started, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. Sunny today. Windy in some of the foothills and the IE. Highs around 80 at the beaches. Upper 80s for Metro LA and Orange County. Mid 80s to around 90 for the valleys and the Inland Empire. Whether you're already on Medicare or soon will be signing up for Medicare, just navigating Medicare can be overwhelming, so let me suggest contacting AGA Medicare Options and get educated about all the rules before you make any of these decisions. There is a free dinner and educational Medicare seminar, no enrollment fees, no sales, so leave your checkbook at home. And this is with AGA. AGA's team of experienced agents will advise you step-by-step step on a plan that fits your unique situation and budget because we're all different. And AGA will help you find plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost. Call to attend a free seminar near you. Now pound 250 on your cell and just say, My Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell and say the keyword, My Medicare. Or visit agamedicareoptions.com, agamedicareoptions.com. Unjunk your sleep during the President's Day sale at Mattress Firm. Shop now and get a king bed for a queen price, plus a free adjustable base with purchase. Don't miss hot thighs like beds starting at just $159.99, plus Tempur-Pedic savings. Regrow your own natural hair with the same simple one-day treatment that I received from Advanced Hair Restoration. Get a free consultation, $250 off, and 250 free hair grafts by calling 844-333-HAIR or advancedhair.com. 
Hey, L.A., are you looking for a refi or new home loan? Kick Mortgage gives you a free instant rate pro with no credit check. Working with another lender? No problem. Kick will beat their current refi or purchase rates or give you 1000 bucks. But you have to ask now. Call 877-818-CAKE and put your home equity to work. 877-818-2253. NMLS number 1734623. Licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. How can you best navigate the new world of work? Find out at the virtual California Conference for Women March 2nd. Speakers include author Brené Brown, civil rights legend Dolores Huerta, singer Mary G. Blythe, and top workplace and personal development experts. Register at caconferenceforwomen.org. More stimulating talk. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Jennifer Jones Lee is on vacation. I'm Chris Little sitting in for her. Here are a couple of the stories we're following. In the KFI 24-hour newsroom, Bob Saget's cause of death was head trauma. His family released a statement yesterday saying Saget appears to have hit the back of his head on something. Didn't think it was a big deal. Went to sleep. Bob Saget was found dead in his hotel room in Florida. January 9th, he was 65. Here's an Olympic spoiler alert for you. U.S. figure skater Nathan Chen has won the gold medal at the Olympics in Beijing. He's 22. He landed all five of his quads during his Rocketman program to finish with 332.60 points. That's just three off his own world record. The U.S. Labor Department is likely to report later this morning that inflation is lingering at the highest level since 1981. Persistently high prices in energy, food, and housing uh, continue to weigh on the U.S. economy at 552. We will talk with Investopedia editor, uh, editor-in-chief Caleb Silver about where prices are rising the most and when they are expected to fall and why. Uh, but inflation does not seem to be having any effect on betting on the Super Bowl this year. It looks like Super Bowl 56 is going to be the most heavily bet game ever. Uh, with a 78% betting increase over last year's game, uh, we've been able to catch up with Las Vegas Review Journal Sports betting columnist Todd Dewey. Hey, Todd, what's driving this increase in wagering? Yeah, thanks for having me. Good morning. And the increase in wagering is definitely due to the explosion of legal sports betting across the country as it's in 30 states in Washington, D.C. when the game kicks off. So wow. there'll be more Americans betting and uh, more legal options to bet on it and along with the thousands of different ways to bet on the game uh, and prop betting that's very popular. Yeah, and uh, well... Prop betting is popular, and I didn't really know what prop betting was since I've, I've never bet in a sports book, and I've never bet on a game, but uh, after preparing for this segment with you, I think I want to. Uh, tell us what a prop bet is, and, and who can get into it? Well, the typical game, you could you know, bet on a team to win the game. Uh, it's called the money line. They have odds on that. Uh, or you could, they have the point spread on each side, or they have the totals where, you know, it's the total amount of points scored, but prop bets are more who will score the first touchdown, who will be the MVP on the game, will it be heads or tails on the coin toss, wow. uh, you know, will, will, the, will Bengals kicker Evan McPherson make over one and a half field goals, they, they have Super Bowl squares, you could bet on the, the final uh, digit of the score for each team, uh, like you do at, at a lot of home betting pools, and you know, how many games, the list goes on yeah. and on, they, they have a million of them, from the opening coin toss to uh, the last play of the game, everything in between. I read about one, uh, will there be a successful two-point conversion? I could make that bet, and I will go with yes, though uh, it, the odds are slightly against me, right? No, and it says uh, plus 275 oh. I on a successful two-point conversion. So when it has the plus in front of it, that means uh, for $100, you would win 275 on there to be a successful two-point conversion. It's funny you say that. That's uh, pretty much the most popular prop right now, and Las Vegas sports books one of them. Have you made that bet? I have not just yet. I haven't weighed in yet. You know, I, I've made it in the past. 
I was looking at your Twitter account, and you had some uh, uh, you had some uh, stuff up there earlier about uh, what uh, thirty thousand dollars can bring you back. Uh, what six hundred and fifty thousand or something like that? Uh, tell me about some of those bets. These big bets people are making. Yeah, that was a parlay that hit on uh, championship conference championship Sunday, where at uh, one of the sports books out there, FanDuel, uh, you could bet on the exact final score of the game and one better at a twenty dollar free bet at the sports book and somehow was able to correctly call the the winner and final score of both of the championship Sunday games. So Rams twenty seventeen where they rallied against the Niners and um the Bengals twenty seven twenty four over the Chiefs. Both mm -hmm. of those scores he predicted which are, you know, two hundred something on each and uh, he combined them into a parlay, twenty dollars to win five hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I think you were talking about um, yeah bets on the Bengals themselves this season. They have the odds to win the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, someone had bet thirty five hundred to win a half a million. Oh, that's what it was. Back in yeah, back in September when the the Bengals were one hundred fifty to one, and another better bet. Thirty thousand to win six hundred thousand at twenty to one uh, last month when they were in the playoffs. That's crazy. What? So, uh, what are the numbers now? What are the odds now to win? Well, right now it comes down to the to the game itself, where uh, the Rams, I believe, are minus two hundred. So you have to put up two hundred to one hundred on them to win the game outright. And uh, they're between three and a half and four and a half point favorites. And if you want the Bengals. Plus 170, you put up 100 to 170 to win outright. Wow, okay. So what's the best bet to make? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the, that's the million-dollar question that we all want to know. There, there's just so many of them. Uh, it all depends. Uh, like you said, some of the most popular ones are will there be overtime, will there be a safety, those are like pay eight to one. Or will there be a two-point conversion plus 275? A lot of people, some of the most popular ones out there are, are, are the coin toss. Heads or tails, you can bet on each side, and, and both of them getting almost equal amounts of money. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so people are going to wager. Uh, the estimate uh, estimate is seven billion six hundred million dollars. Now, so I'm going to have to go to Arizona or Nevada uh, to bet legally. But is this seven point six billion? This is just all legal money, right? Yeah, that's that's just a legal estimate. So there's still uh, the, the illegal betting keeps shrinking as the legal market uh, expands. But right. but that's just the the legal betting. Yeah, so I'm sure it's a lot more than that. Okay, uh, so in a state like California, where uh, online wagering is not legal yet, uh, for some reason. Um, there's nothing you can do except go to another state, right? Or uh, is there something I can do? Or, or is that uh, against the law for us to be even uh, thinking about that? Do you want me to put something in for you? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to, at this point, the only thing you can do is drive over the border uh, to bet um, with a legal sports book. I gotcha. Uh, so what are the or, yeah. Go, uh, um, so legal sports book, so like Arizona or Nevada, uh, it's the closest one yeah. here to us, I guess, unless you're uh, up north. Is it, is it Washington or uh, Oregon? Somebody, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, but it'll be coming soon to California, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the holdup is. What are the demographics of the uh, average Super Bowl better? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Pretty much. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that one, but I just know everybody likes to like to have a little something down on the game, whether it's the Super Bowl squares or just a friendly wager on which team's going to win. Yeah. Uh, now the NFL, you know, in the past has feared that gambling would, uh, you know, kind of have a negative impact on the integrity of the game. Is that fading, or is that still kind of a thing in the NFL's head, so to speak? That used to be what they said for years and years, but honestly, uh, the last the last thing uh, the, the Las Vegas sports folks want is a crooked game. And in fact, in years past, um, there's been you know, a handful of point shaving scandals, and Las Vegas sports book directors were the ones who alerted authorities to to the to the scandal where 
when they see typical action on a college basketball game, it was like 10 times the amount of bets. Like, for instance, 1994, Arizona State, there was a college basketball point shaving scandal, and uh, there was a bunch of uh, key regular betting patterns in town, and that's when uh, the Las Vegas Sportsbooks knew something was going on with this game, and the line moved a lot, and, you know, they told the NCAA about it, and they were able to, you know, track down and did it, so... And, and the amount of money that these players make these days would be, uh, uh, you would think it's very unlikely that a player would, uh, would, would throw a game. Yeah. Um, now, how come Americans are more interested in legal sports, uh, you know, betting now than they have been in the past? I mean, I know m maybe part of it is, uh, what, something like uh, 10 states? Uh, have uh, uh, recently made uh, betting legal, uh, you know, sports betting legal. I mean, is it bad or is there a hunger? Uh, you know, what's going on? I mean, why is the guy next door who lives next door to you who has never bet before now betting? Yeah, because it's a lot easier and available, but honestly, betting has been going on forever. It's just not being brought out into the light where it's just so easy to, to place a bet as a uh, all the legal sports books are exploded across the country in the last few years since the Supreme Court overturned PASPA, it was called, uh, which Nevada was the only state that offered legal sports betting for years and years and until the last five years. So now that it's out there and, and we all see all the ads on TV, I'm sure that has uh, something to do with people placing more bets, but pretty much just that the spread of legal sports betting. It's always been around, but it's just so uh, much easier now uh, like going around to the store. Are the odds any different uh, between legal and illegal sports betting? Not too much, not really. Because uh, people, I mean, here in Vegas, even with all the Super Bowl props come out, they like to, a lot of bettors try to bet on differences between the different books and mm -hmm. you know, try to hit bets on both sides. So if they're too big of a difference, people would take advantage of that and you know, bookmakers would lose. <laughs> gotcha. Well, it sounds uh, fascinating. How long have you been writing about uh, betting? I've been doing this for the last five years. I've been in journalism for 30 years, but I've been covering the sports betting beat for the last five. How'd you get into that? Oh, well, I was a sports writer already at the Las Vegas Review Journal, and I was helping out uh, the last guy that was covering the beat before he took off, he took off to join Brent Musburger at a, wow. a network called VEASAN that uh, covers yeah. sports betting. And sure. I've kind of always been into it. I grew up on the East Coast. The high school friend of mine, his dad was a bookie, honestly, and kind of got introduced to, you know, parlay cards and stuff like that. And, when I was in high school, so I've kind of been around it most of my life, and then since moving to Vegas, i uh, a lot more familiar with it. Now it's finally paying off. Yeah, well, <laughs> in more ways than one. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Todd, I appreciate it. Uh, so uh, we've been talking with Las Vegas Review Journal Sports Betting columnist Todd Dewey. Uh, Todd, you got a um, you got some social you'd like to plug on the big mighty KFI? Sure. Uh, uh, at P. Dewey 33 on Twitter and ReviewGerald.com. You can find me. Thanks a lot. All right. No problem. Todd Dewey, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. Uh, I uh, look forward to talking to you again if I'm filling in for Jennifer Jones Lee next year coming up Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Good luck on the game, everybody. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, uh, back to some of the stories we're working on in the 24-hour uh, KFI newsroom. LA County Sheriff's detectives are looking for those involved in this shooting death of a 14-year-old boy in South L.A. Otis Williams was walking alone to a neighborhood market when a blue late model Dodge Challenger pulled up and the driver opened fire. We don't believe this is a gang-related murder. Otis had no gang ties. He was 14 years old. He was six foot two. He had recently gone through a growth spree. He was very tall. 14-year-old. Lieutenant Derek Alfred says the shooting in July of 2020 was most likely mistaken identity. Williams' mother says she wants to know why. He was only 14. You may not realize that when he did it, but he shouldn't be going around shooting people anyway. In downtown L.A., Steve Gregory, KFI News. Governor Newsom says mask rules in California are being loosened because the state is moving in the right direction. And that progress uh, is... Uh, exampled all across the state of California, but not equally. He says that's why counties have their own rules 
As for masks in schools, we are getting closer and closer uh, to making public an announcement on uh, mask wearing in our public schools. The governor says there are more than 1,000 districts in the state and everybody has strong opinions, of course. When we come back, we will talk with Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver about the Labor Department's inflation numbers due out this morning. We'll talk with Caleb about uh, what we can expect, where prices are rising the most, and when they are expected to fall, and why. Uh, maybe even if. Right now, let's take a look at your drive from the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center. Let's go places. Uh, let's check out that crash and Glenn Dora on the 210 one more time. Westbound before the 57, it's a fatality crash, still blocking the two right lanes, and now traffic is jammed from Town Avenue. And you got a crash also in the backup right around Foothill. Sherman Oaks, the 101 southbound before Woodman Avenue. Accident blocks the two right lanes. You're slow from Van Nuys Boulevard. A crash and accident, the 14 southbound at Sierra Highway. That's off to the shoulder. You're slow from Soledad Canyon. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. L.A. Water, holy smokes here. Did you know the EWG, it's a non-profit environmental group, they found arsenic level 430 times what's considered safe. San Diego, just as bad. Newport Beach, I hope you like drinking haloacidic acid, but you're drinking 254 times the safe amount. So we know tap water is awful. And you're drinking, showering, bathing your kids in it with all these chemicals, that's pretty serious. Do what I did called Purigan Water. They've been in business for over 35 years. And pure again, man, it turns tap water to pure, clean, delicious water. And it comes with a free six-stage alkaline drink system. And so I know the holidays have just ended, the money's a little tight. So pure again is going to help you out. They can install both systems with no money down, no payments for three months, plus a lifetime service at no charge. Call pure again right away. 844-80-WATER. 844-80-WATER. Or the website, P-U-R-AGAINWATER.COM. That's pureagainwater.com. Pure again, man. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Unjunk your sleep during the President's Day sale at Mattress Firm. Shop now and get a king bed for a clean price, plus a free adjustable base with purchase. Don't miss hot size like beds starting at just one fifty nine ninety nine, plus temper pedic savings. This is former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Here's what's turning from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Total Wine and More. Chloe Kim defended her crown in women's half pipe. The Long Beach snowboarder hit her pair of pin 80s to capture her second straight Olympic gold medal. LeBron James and the Lakers were stunned by the Blazers, and the NFL is expanding overseas. The league will play four regular season games in Germany over the next few years. Two will be played in Munich and two in Frankfurt. I'm Missy Jordan. Total Wine and More is your big game headquarters for local craft beers, bourbons, cabernets, seltzers, and more. And don't forget Valentine's Day. Total Wine can help you score the perfect bubbly, too. Pickup and delivery available at Total Wine and More. Drink responsibly, B21. Omicron spreads faster than any other COVID-19 variant. So it's important for you to mask up to limit the spread. N95, KN95, and KF94 masks offer the best fit and filtration. Don't have these? Surgical mask or double masking with a surgical and fabric mask can also offer great protection. So there you go. Mask, vax, and get boosted. Learn more at COVID19.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. This is hard to admit, but when I was in junior high school, I was bullied so badly, I cried. Hello, I'm John Aquan, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. I was named Ogonis after my grandfather, but as a kid, I was teased for having that name. So I changed it to John. John is the English version of Ogonis, and it maintains the honor to my grandfather. My family and heritage are important to me, so staying true to myself and Ruder Hero Plumbing are important. Staying true to Ruder Hero Plumbing means being true to you and delivering world-class service. That's why my cell phone number is on the back of every Ruder Hero Plumbing business card. 
Call us at 866-STRAIN-77 and we'll cable your line for $77. That's 866-STRAIN-77. Thank you. Well, we've talked about SolarMax technology for years now. What made you decide to go with them? Well, I did a bunch of research. I figured out that SolarMax technology was the best. I mean, they're local for one thing. They know their stuff. They got great prices. And they are extending this special through February. That's right. SolarMax brilliantly stocked up on those beautiful Tesla panels, so there is no supply chain wait. Plus, it's all assembled locally. There's no middleman. And something we just figured out, now's the best time to get solar because you're going to get more electrical production during the spring. So call SolarMax and get that sleek new Tesla 420-watt panel package, the most powerful solar panels on the market right now for zero down and only $79.96 a month. Yeah, and a 1.99% APR. Dial pound 250 from your cell phone. Say the keyword SolarMax. That's pound 250 SolarMax. Or go to SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credit. See SLB number 972048. We are all stewards of the next generation. But in the U.S., there are over 100,000 boys and girls who are victims of human sex trafficking. It's time to stand up and join the fight as a community to stamp out the exploitation and trafficking of our most vulnerable. Join the fight against human trafficking. To learn more, visit USIAHT.org. Portions of the following program will be recorded. You can't do that if you're a public figure. There's a picture of Garcetti at the game without a mask. You can't do that because of the perception. Such a hypocrite. It's a shame that the supply chain has made it harder to get car and feathers. Bill Handel. Morning from 6 to 10. That's true. On KMI. live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Jennifer Jones Lee is on vacation. I'm Chris Little in for her. Uh, some of the stories we're following, actually, just uh, one big story, some breaking news right now. Uh, people have been uh, ordered to uh, get out of their homes in the Emerald Bay area of Laguna Beach uh, because of a fast-moving brush fire uh, that's uh, moving inland. PCH is closed in the area. Uh, of course, unseasonably warm, dry, windy weather conditions uh, have been a challenge for um, you know, Southern California and uh, residents, and of course now for firefighters. Uh, crews are there from the Orange County Fire Authority. They have responded to the fire. Classes have been canceled at El Morro Elementary School. Um, earlier, we heard that the fire was about 10 acres. It is way beyond 10 acres now. Fire Department earlier said uh, it is possible that this will become a 100-acre fire. So far, no buildings have been um, damaged or destroyed. So we'll keep an eye on that fire in the Emerald Bay area of Laguna Beach for you uh, throughout the morning. The U.S. Labor Department is likely to report later this morning that inflation is lingering at the highest level since 1981. Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver is with us. Uh, what kind of numbers do you expect to see, Caleb? Well, those numbers actually did cross at 8.30 this morning, so maybe a typo there, but the Consumer Price Index out from the Labor Department showing a 7.5% increase. That's the highest level in 40 years, higher than we thought it was going to be, if you can believe that. And the core inflation, if you take that energy and food prices, which is ridiculous because we spend money on those every day, but right. core inflation, that's up 6%, again, another 40-year high. So prices are high everywhere we spend money. Uh, can you explain what the Consumer Price Index is and what it actually influences? Yeah, that is basically the, the, the price difference in everything we spend money on. So from cereal and bakery products to new, new and used cars to motor oil, home head energy oil, basically everywhere we spend money, food, uh, energy, appliances, hard goods, travel, all of that is baked into the consumer price index, even rent. So it's the measure of how consumers spend money, and it's been rising every month for the past seven months. We're spending on things we haven't spent on in about a year and a half because the economy's opening up a little bit more, but also there are some supply chain constrictions that are still impacting the economy, and retailers have pricing power, so they're keeping those prices high. Uh, and reports do indicate that uh, the expiration of um, the uh, stimulus checks and other government aid 
uh, has not really slowed down America's appetite for shopping. How, how can that be? Well, we're going into deeper debt. We just got the report from the New York Fed that household debt in the U.S. topped a trillion dollars last year. So the last time it did that, 2007, you remember what happened in 2008, 2009. Now, we're not in that type of a situation where we're over-mortgaged on our homes. It's a different type of an, of an issue where we're spending a lot and taking on a lot of debt to do that, whether that's to buy cars, whether that's to buy homes. The housing market has been absolutely blazing hot for the past year and a half. Uh, we're just borrowing more to pay for bigger assets, and that is starting to may have an impact on consumer spending going forward if these prices don't. Well, uh, and now at the same time, there are some figures that uh, might suggest that uh, price increases have begun to slow. Have you seen any of that? Yeah, we're starting to see that top off. You're starting to see it in the housing market. That's a function of rising mortgage rates. If you hadn't noticed, mortgage rates now for the third year around 4%. They were down around 2.5%. Yeah. Now 4%. That's going to cool the housing market. You're also seeing some less of a supply chain issue in some goods being able to get across the country and into U.S. ports. You still have issues with semiconductors, so that's going to affect the auto industry and the electronics industry. But other goods are starting to make their way through, and you're seeing prices come down whether it's lumber, whether it's steel, whether it's copper, they're receding a little bit, and that's a good sign. But what's going to happen next is the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates starting in March, and that's going to cool prices down a heck of a lot. It's already changed the temperature of the stock market. Well, and that was going to be my next question, so I'll go back to uh, something that I was just thinking about when you were talking about uh, interest rates going up. As interest rates go up, uh, mortgage interest rates go up, and the price of housing uh, is affected maybe by going down, Still, the price, the, what, what you're paying for the house almost remains the same, right? Absolutely. It's just a, it's a psychological thing. How much are you willing to borrow and how much are you willing to stomach in terms of borrowing costs? Your mortgage rates go up if it's, on a, if it's not fixed, then you're going to pay a higher interest rate every time that changes. But also the other things that we use, that we borrow. So credit cards, they're impacted by federal fund rate. Sometimes uh, um, auto loan rates are affected by the federal fund rate. So all the big ticket items we've been spending money on, the borrowing costs are going to go up, which means that we should see a cooling down in prices in those assets. Maybe not a, a decline, but definitely not a continued increase. Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver is with us. Caleb, as, uh, it, as inflation goes up, what would you suggest that uh, the average person do? Well, if you can lock in rates on anything that might be uh, not be fixed, you should do that now. You should also prepare um, the things that... Prices are going to stay high for a little bit, and as interest rates rise, you got to think about the things you're going to borrow money to buy. How important is it to buy that new truck this year? If you're a contractor, if you need it for your work, maybe so. Prices are really high on automobiles right now, and the borrowing costs are going to go up. So think twice about the big ticket purchases, but also think about ways where if you did have higher rates, you've still got pretty low rates right now, pretty low interest rates. You might want to refinance things that you haven't done in the past few years because rates are only going to rise from here. Yeah, do you see it getting, um, you know, some sort of normalcy coming back anytime soon? Or is this the new normal? It's the new, new normal because we've never been in a situation like this coming out of the pandemic. Yeah. We've never had infl we haven't had inflation this high since 1982 when E.T. was the number one movie in the country and Let's Get Physical was the number one song. So this takes us way back to the 80s. <laughs> I remember that. And, uh, and we're go, you know, we have a, a stock market that is sort of rocking right now after gain after gain after record highs last year. We're starting to see a little bit of turbulence there. So it's going to be an interesting time for both investors and consumers. Now, I read a recent Gallup poll that said 20% of Americans list economic concerns as their number one issue, but twice as many people list poor leadership of the government or the coronavirus as their number one concern. So uh, it looks like Americans aren't too worried about it yet. Yeah, they're not too worried about it yet. Americans are always generally concerned about their financial and their financial futures. You look at plenty of Gallup surveys and others that say some Americans don't feel like they have enough to get through the next six months. That's always the case in this country. It's gotten worse through the pandemic, especially for lower income folks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're concerned about leadership and we're heading into a midterm here and over the next six months. So you're going to see that rhetoric boil up a lot more. All right, Caleb, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, there he goes, Investor, Investopedia Editor-in-Chief Caleb Silver, uh, talking about what we can expect with the inflation numbers that uh, just came out today.
Uh, this is KFI and KOST HD2 Los Angeles from the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center. Let's go places. Let's check your drive. It's Jeff Bond. All right, you bet. Uh, good morning to you. Now, uh, Chris has been trying to warn you about this fire in Laguna Beach. It's quite serious. The Emerald Bay area, Laguna Beach, extremely active fire off from the hills. The wind is blowing towards PCH. It's extremely busy right now. PCH is being used by fire department and people on the move, so try and avoid it if you can. Again, through Laguna Beach, more on that coming up. Now, the Ventura Freeway comes to Studio City. Big problem there. Uh, uh, has been back up to the 405 Hammond News and Hill Boulevard. And through Laverne, you have two standard foothills, fill up lanes blocked. Use the Pomona Freeway or Foothill Boulevard. Busy morning. Can't find the sky. Helps get you there faster. I'm Jeff Fogg. Southern California weather from KFI, sunny today, highs in some of the foothills and the IE, highs around Carbonis 80 at uh, the uh, beaches, upper 80s from Metro LA, Orange County, uh, and now, mid 80s uh, to around 90 for the valleys and the inland empire. We need local from KFI's 24 hour newsroom. I'm Chris Gill, this is in your wake up call, and on the news is now. Walt Disney it's <laughs> They are experts in helping businesses like yours get your share of the this government money. And they do all the legwork and do not charge a dime until you actually receive the money and then they share a percentage of the money they get from you. And now another program they got my business a six figure refund. The average client and this business or this program gets a quarter of a million dollars. Go to innovationrefunds.com, click on the qualify me button, and answer a few questions. InnovationRefunds.com, InnovationRefunds.com. Creating Thank you. 
And of course, that is always a challenge for firefighters earlier. Um, you know, this is about maybe 20 minutes ago, we heard it was 10 acres. Of course, it's going to be more than 10 acres. Uh, firefighters have said that this fire is going to be uh, could reach up to 100 acres. Of course, um, when they say that, a lot of times it becomes a lot bigger than that. So again, mandatory evacuations in the Emerald Bay and the Irvine uh, Irvine Cove area and uh, all schools in North Laguna are closed. But so far, we don't have any reports of any um, buildings uh, being damaged. Although I understand the fire is right on top of homes. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's close to, I mean, it's burning through neighborhoods. Uh, now, there are, some, there are some areas that aren't as um, uh, populated in that, you know, with windy roads through the area, but it's definitely burning near some homes, and that's why um, firefighters have told people to evacuate their homes. Yeah, and it's, it's a pricey area. I mean, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But, uh, but they're on it. We're saying fire authorities out there. And um, we'll, we'll keep you up to date. Yeah, okay. yeah. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, a quick word on a serious note is, uh, what's the date? February 10th? Yes. Uh, uh, you wouldn't have dreamed a decade ago that it was still fire season. No, I wouldn't have dreamed a decade ago that it'd be 80 and 90 degrees in February. Uh, that's, we have, that's not true. We've had temperatures like that. We have, but I wouldn't have dreamed it or dreamt it. That's because you don't dream. Well, that's probably true, Bill, but I don't dream much about February. Ever. Okay, I don't even know where to go with that. Well, don't go anywhere except uh, let me just give you this quick tip. On Super Bowl Sunday, if there's snow in the mountains, that's the place to be because nobody else will be there. Well, yeah, or on you the road. Were thinking, you were thinking. Both. Yeah. <laughs> there uh, will be a lot of on the road uh, in the morning and in the afternoon. Well, right, let's uh, move on to my eating story. in the Florence Firestone uh, neighborhood, uh, Otis Ray John Williams. Uh, this was uh, in July of 2020. He's just walking to the store. A car pulls up uh, and uh, out of the driver's seat, uh, a just shot ring out and killing the young 14 year old. I mean, it's just, and we're seeing more and more of that too. Uh, this car, I figure, figures fairly easy to identify. The 2016 to 2018 Challenger. Uh, it is um, uh, it's blue, one black stripe on the hood between two air scoops, a black roof, trunk, spoiler, and gas cap. Uh, also, are black. But uh, how can no one that? Well, the only Four thing is the white is gray. Yeah. But again, it's going to take a step from crime in the neighborhood. There's no way around it. Uh, violent crimes against kids are on the rise. We've heard this before. Um, and you know, these are kinds of opportunities. People are attacking kids who are walking to and from school. Uh, and, and in some cases, near their own home, you know, they're easy targets. Uh, we heard the other day of uh, two girls losing their uh, cell phones uh, being attacked by uh, uh, the yeah, And they're usually gang related. Uh, and uh, the good news is George Gascon has decided that uh, being part of a gang, uh, there's no enhancement at all. Yeah, it's completely uh, nuts. Uh, a lot of this is gang initiation. Hey, you, know, you kill someone and it's just oh, a Oh, here we go. I'm employed the Upland Unified School District. Notice there are some teachers. There might not be a teacher, but what's this all? What's this? 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 What's I am sorry and disagree. China gave us this COVID and will not wear red, meaning they won't wear red. Parents, you need to wake up. Needless to say, that yeah, is the Now, uh, at some point, uh, he went over the line, but I won't wear red because of the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, that's legit. 
That's like a Jehovah's Witness saying, I won't celebrate Halloween. And, well, they all have their part. They actually do have parties in doorways uh, in, throughout the United States. But it's okay to say what that employee did until she started talking about the uh, uh, ethnicity of people as opposed to the political aspect of the Communist Party. He simply went over the line. Or would he have been fired if he had just said, I won't wear red because of the Communist Chinese Party? Well, well, they're on the leave. Right? Right. fired yet or right. coming. Uh, would there have been oh, any kind of disappointment or investigation? Probably not. If he, if they, but here's the thing. Why do you have to send anything to the parents <laughs> telling them what you think about it? You don't have to. But, well, that in and of it, but I